Hello guys, this is a video of all of my souvenirs from Lego Kids Fest at the McCormick Place. Uh, so let's see here. First off, as you can tell, dun -dun -dun, I bought the green grocer with the allowance that I got like right before we went there, which is kind of weird. I thought I would be able to buy something there, because like if there's going to be a Lego Kids Fest, I'm guessing that they're probably going to do a store. So, I brought my money, and I had a lot of money, trust me, I got $20 just for working with my dad for one day. And I get 60 at the end of the month, so. I worked for them a lot of days, so. Yep, and I still have $30 left over. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Um, so first off, here's my receipt. Uh, for the Lego creator, or not creator, green grocer. Um, as you can see, it says return. It says return because at first I bought the family home, but then right after I bought it, my dad gave me my allowance. So then I was like, what? Why would you give me allowance right after I bought a set that I wanted second? Now I have enough money to buy the green grocer. So... We went back, and I, instead of getting the family home, also kind of known as the Duck Pond House, uh, we went back and got the green dresser, which I wanted for two years. Two. Yeah. Um, and also, by the way, guess what? I'm very lucky I bought it, because the guy said that they were about to take it off the line. So this was this is about to be discontinued, guys. So if you really want to buy it, I would get the money fast. Cause the guy said, "Oh, you're lucky that you bought this, cause this was about to get discontinued." Or well, what he actually said was retired, but uh, I wasn't sure at first, so I asked my dad, and he said discontinued. So yeah, so I'm very happy that I bought it now, and now I don't have to go on eBay. And look for some retard who's selling it for heck knows whom, how much money. Uh, $400 probably. When the original price is just 150 <sighs> So, hopefully expect a review of this soon. Um, and then here are our tickets. Uh, me and my sister's tickets. My mom and dad's tickets, and it has the Lego minifigures vampire on the front of it for some reason. Probably just because it's October, so yeah. And then I got this little advertisement sheet for a little Lego thing. Uh, NNN Nightly News is 9. If you want to look that up just by looking at this, if you like, think it's going to be funny. And it was kind of funny. It's like, uh, I think it was this guy or this guy, like, they were, like, interviewing this shark dude, and then all of a sudden the shark dude just randomly started attacking him, like, rah, 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 or something like that. It seemed kind of funny, and then this is just so freaking random, which is, what the heck? So, nightly news at nine. Yeah. Blank on my back, except for a little thing that you can see since there's light right here. Light. Okay. Um and then here you got these for helping with a I forgot what they're called. Um I I don't know. But uh, what you did was you just took a little plate and they had it colored so like you took the small one piece part and you put it on according to the color and one of them was like a Lego city it was of Chicago at like the afternoon and it looked 
really, really pretty. I liked it. It was amazing. It had the sunset and everything. It looked awesome. And then in another one, they had uh, all the Lego minifigures, like uh, this guy. They had, like, the pop singer, the disco dude, the maraca guy, vampire, sumo, or not sumo wrestler, uh, uh, weightlifter, and all those other guys, the caveman, yeah. And I participated a lot of times, so now I have six of these guys. Wait for the nice shirts, at the pizza fest. And then I got these little bricks when I left. My dad got one, so he just gave that to me. So yeah, um, those are my souvenirs from Lego Kids Fest. I hope that you enjoyed, and hopefully you'll be able to go to one of the Lego Kids Fests since it's on tour. Okay, bye. Peace.